All right, welcome back. The first stage of Google Centric Notes is learning how to use Google Docs. If uh, you haven't known or learned about it, Google Docs is essentially a free uh, word processing platform that you can utilize on the internet through Google. Uh, the cool thing about Google Docs is Google Docs will allow you to save your docs uh, in your Google Drive so you have access to them wherever there's an internet connection. Um, there are also a whole host of features that you can utilize in Google Docs as well. Um, but for the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to talk about Google Docs uh, in regards to Google Centric Notes. So let's go ahead and let's begin. Google Centric Notes. Let's get familiar with Google Docs. And the reason we need to get familiar with Google Docs is because for Google Centric Notes, you're going to want to use Google Docs. It's the most beneficial to you. Uh, only because, well, not only, but for one of the primary reasons being that you have access to these notes no matter where you are, as long as there's an internet connection. For those students in an online class, sometimes your computer breaks. Sometimes your internet connection at your house is down. Um, oftentimes, there are challenges with being enrolled in an online course. So if your computer crashes and you lose your notes, uh, on your desktop computer, your laptop computer, uh, you're, you're in trouble. However, if you are taking notes using Google Docs and you're doing Google centric notes and you're utilizing cloud computing in the Google Drive, then you are safe because you will have access to these notes later on uh, and you can utilize them at a later date from a different computer or a different internet source. So it's definitely beneficial to you. So let's go over some basic uh, functions here in Google Docs to get you familiar with the software. And uh, hopefully you've downloaded Google Docs and uh, you have access to it right now and uh, when you're done with this video I want you to take an opportunity to play with Google Docs just to see the capabilities that it has as a free word processing platform uh, for you to utilize in your online course. So typically up here you have your classic buttons, file, edit, view, insert, format, tools. Um, file, this is where you would go to download any copy of your Google centric notes. This is really cool. You can download a hard copy in Word, PDF, web page file, uh, any other option that's here too as well. You can even download it in an open office file uh, format and use it with open office. Pretty cool. Um, you can also publish your Google centric notes to the web. Uh, let's pretend you want to do this so you can have somebody critique your notes. This is a very possible thing for you to do. Um, you could also share your notes and compare your notes with your colleagues and your classmates uh, to see who has the stronger notes on the topic. It's a great way to build uh, rapport with one another and also to make sure that your note taking skills are up to par. Um, email collabor collaborators and email as attachment, these two come into play when you're working as a collaborative group in an online class. I might get to a video about this later on, but for the sake of Google centric notes, you really don't need to know how to utilize these. Uh, edit, undo, that's your back. You messed up, you want to go back and do something. Redo is you want to make that change again so you go forward. Typical paste, cut and copy. Uh, web clipboard, if you've copied anything from the internet, it'll be in your web clipboard and you can paste it from there. Find and replace, if you want to find something, maybe you want to find Google centric there it is, it highlights it for you and you can replace it with Google centric notes dot 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 replace and there you go it's been replaced pretty cool. Uh, let's go over here to view uh, print layout, show ruler, show ruler is up here so you can set the indentations of your paper uh, so you can adjust for your margins definitely want to have that available uh, if you get rid of it then, um, you know, it's not there. But you can always come back and add it here again where it says show rule are very important too. Show spelling suggestions. This is an auto check spell check uh, that's already enabled in Google Docs. So as you type and as you spell, uh, Google will make corrections to your spelling to make sure that you do not have any errors. Uh, insert. You can insert an image, a link, an equation, a drawing, a table. Perhaps you want to create a table and add it to your notes. Perfectly fine. Maybe you want to comment on something that you copied from the internet. Maybe you copied a big block of text from your online class and you want to put some comments on that text. Uh, maybe you're paraphrasing something. You can use the comment tool there and comment as well. Uh, special characters, you know, we've seen these before using Word and OpenOffice. Uh, it'll bring up a whole host of special characters that you can utilize within your paper. Pretty cool, pretty easy. Uh, page number, if you've got to have multiple pages on a document and you want to insert pages. However, for Google centric notes, you don't really have to number your pages. That's, that's also good to know. And you don't also have to worry about page count. Uh, header, footer, bookmark, table of contents. If you want to add a table of contents into your Google centric notes, uh, you can do that from here. Pretty cool. Format, typical stuff, bold, italic, underline, strike through, superscript, subscript. Uh, you can also do your line spacing, your bulleted list, your number list, and you can align your paper left, right, center, right, justified. Also paragraph styles, you can do different paragraph styles depending on the 
uh, portion of your paper that you're working on. Google centric notes though you don't have to go too far with that though which is nice. Tools is a big one. Uh, there's a spelling tool that's built into Google Docs but you can also run it as well. This is great for your Google centric notes. That way you know everything is uh, spelled properly so if you ever have to go back and research your notes uh, there is definitely uh, an opportunity there uh, to make sure that all your information is correct. Uh, research and define. Uh, I'm going to show you how to use a different extension for define, but there's definitely a, a dictionary built into Google Docs that you can use. Um, if you're doing something in Spanish, you can copy something in Spanish and have Google translate it through their translator service, which is pretty cool. Uh, script manager, script editor, we're not going to worry about those or preferences. Table, if you want to insert a table, you can do that there. And help, um, there is a ton of help topics in the Google Docs community. So those are just all the basic functions up there. Uh, and basically, essentially, what we're looking at here is the simple stuff. Um, you can zoom in and out of your paper here. You can change your font in the style of your font right there. Uh, your font type can be changed right here as well. Uh, font size, bold, italic, underline. This is a big one. Color. You can change the color of your text right here. Or if you want to highlight something, you can click highlight. Click the color you want to highlight it in, and it will highlight in that color. If you want to add a link, you can do that here. Uh, you can also insert a comment. Remember I spoke about that if you wanted to paraphrase something that you copied out of your text. Uh, left align, center, right align, uh, justified. You can also change the line spacing. I recommend setting it to single and keeping it there. Uh, numbered list if you want to insert that, bullet points. Decrease indent, increase indent, and clear formatting. This will go back and make everything normal. That was a whole lot of information. <laughs> so let me show you. If you want to make something bold, just highlight it, click bold. If you want to make something italic, highlight it, click italic. If you want to underline something, of course, underline is right there. Perhaps you want to change the color of the text. There you go. And we highlighted it brown. And what's a good color of brown for contrast? It's typically yellow. So let's go ahead, text, yellow, and there you go. You can change the color like that. Pretty cool. Maybe we want to insert a link. Let's go to CNN.com and the link text could be news, news, news. Go ahead and we'll make that lowercase so we're all formatted properly. And there you go. You can add a link right there and you can access it by doing that. Pretty cool. And it's over. Government to pay its bills for now. Imagine that. That's always good. <laughs> so you can also take this, center it, left the line, right align. Justified, if we had a whole paragraph here, we would use that. Line spacing, we're not going to go through and do that. Font change, though, we can go ahead and we can change the font. We can change the size of the font here. And we can go ahead and change that there so it looks cool. And let's center it and let's leave it at that. And we can go ahead and get rid of that link. Uh, insert picture, image, link, equation, drawing. You can do it from here or you can do some stuff from here, too. So that's it. That's Google Docs. That's how you utilize Google Docs. Pretty cool, pretty easy, right? The next thing I want to show you about Google Docs is when you go to save it. Um, up here in the left-hand corner, it'll open up your Google Drive when you click on it. In your Google Drive, you'll have all the documents that you've been working on. Pretty cool. So let's go back to our document, Notes for Online Class. Let's go to File. Okay, If we want to download a copy of it in Word, we can click there. A copy of it will download for us to access in Word. Pretty easy, pretty straight forward, right? Excellent. And once we go to our Google Drive, we can find our thing right there, whatever we're working on. Click on it, Notes for Online Class, and there we have it. Now, you have access to your drive, you have access to your notes. The key component of using Google Docs and Google-centric notes is to have everything at your disposal whenever you need it. So, once you've created a Google Doc for your notes, highlight the link, and then drag it right below here to your bookmarks. When you do that, you now have a quick link to your notes. So you can be on any page, and you can go here, open up a new tab if you like, click on it, and there are your notes. Pretty cool. Google Chrome, Google Centric Notes, Google Docs. Very important to use Google Docs when you're doing Google Centric Notes. Keep that in mind. So that's it. That takes up the uh, first video here, or actually the second video of the tutorial, but the first video focusing on the Google software. Uh, Google Docs is essential to the Google-centric notes. You will see how this plays out later on when we go through extensions, uh, note searching techniques, uh, techniques, I apologize, uh, formatting notes properly, and uh, everything else that comes along with Google-centric notes. 
So keep that in mind. You can proceed on to the next video. It'll be uh, video three of the tutorial. And uh, we are going to start looking into how to add extensions to Google Chrome. Very cool stuff. So thank you so much. I appreciate it. And if you have any questions, please go ahead and leave them in the comments. Thank you.